Have you ever wondered how solar flares affect us on Earth? These majestic bursts of energy are not just a spectacle in the cosmos, but they play a significant role in our day-to-day -day life. First things first, what exactly are solar flares? Well, they are sudden and intense explosions on the sun's surface releasing vast amounts of energy and charged particles into space. The interesting thing is there are different types of flares. The most powerful ones are known as X flares with each letter representing 10 times the intensity of the preceding class. There are also M flares, which are less intense but still capable of causing significant disruptions. These solar fireworks don't just light up the solar system, they interact with Earth in unexpected ways. From potentially affecting our communication systems to causing beautiful auroras, solar flares are more than just a space phenomenon. So, solar flares are not just fascinating celestial phenomena, they have profound impacts here on Earth. But did you know that solar flares aren't the only sun's activity that can affect us? Yes, indeed, even the sun's tiniest activities like pico flares can have a major impact. These are much smaller and less energetic than traditional solar flares but don't be fooled by their size. The Solar Orbiter spacecraft on a mission to study our star, observed these pico flares erupting from a coronal hole, a cool spot, near the sun's south pole. These miniature flares are believed to be a key source of the solar wind. Now what's this solar wind we're talking about? It's a stream of electrically charged particles and strong magnetic fields that the sun continually blasts into space. This isn't just a gentle breeze, mind you, but a gusty wind that travels at more than a million miles an hour. And here's the kicker. These solar winds can impact us right here on Earth. Imagine a gust of wind strong enough to mess with our modern technology. It can lead to disruptions in radio signals, causing communication issues, and even affect our power grids. So despite their size, these pico flares and the solar wind they generate are far from insignificant. Understanding the solar wind is key to preparing for its effects such as disruptions to radio signals and power grids. Yes, even the smallest activities of our sun can have a big impact. So the next time you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, remember, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Have you ever heard of the sun's 11-year cycle? It's a fascinating phenomenon that significantly influences our space weather. During this cycle, the sun's magnetic field flips. The North Pole becomes the South and vice versa causing an increase in sunspot activity and solar flares. Sunspots, darker and cooler areas on the sun's surface, become more frequent. They're like birthplaces for solar flares, those intense bursts of radiation that our previous scenes have explored. As the cycle reaches its peak, known as solar maximum, these flares become more frequent and more powerful. Now why does this matter to us, you might ask? Well, in our increasingly tech-dependent world, a sudden increase in solar flares can lead to disruptions. These energetic outbursts can interfere with satellite communications, disrupting everything from GPS navigation to internet connectivity. And it's not just about our gadgets. Power grids can also be affected, potentially leading to blackouts. Space explorers, too, need to be wary of these solar flares as they can pose serious radiation risks. So, the sun's activity isn't just constant, it follows a cycle, and we're now approaching its peak. So buckle up, space enthusiasts, we're in for a solar roller coaster ride, but what exactly happens on Earth when there's a solar flare? Well, the effects can be quite far-reaching and impactful. Solar flares, particularly the mighty X flares, unleash a burst of energy so intense that it can disrupt radio and satellite communications on Earth. Imagine being in the middle of an important call or watching your favorite show and suddenly, the connection drops. That's the kind of disruption we're talking about. But it's not just our communication systems that are vulnerable. Solar flares can also have a significant impact on our power grids. The charged particles and strong magnetic fields associated with solar flares can cause fluctuations in the power supply, leading to blackouts in some cases. This could mean lights going out, computers shutting down, and entire cities being plunged into darkness. Moreover, when these solar flares are especially strong, they can cause what are known as solar radiation storms. This is when the sun blasts out a significant amount of radiation which can be harmful to both humans and electronic equipment. For space explorers, this could mean increased radiation exposure which is a serious concern. On Earth, this could cause additional disruptions in communication systems and potentially damage electrical equipment. And let's not forget about radio outages. Solar flares can cause the Earth's upper atmosphere, the ionosphere, to become extremely ionized, interfering with radio signal transmission. So, your favorite radio station might just go silent without any warning. However, it's important to remember that our planet has natural defenses against these solar occurrences. 
Earth's magnetic field acts as a protective shield, deflecting many of these charged particles. But as our reliance on technology grows, so does our vulnerability to these solar events. Yes, solar flares can bring about some serious consequences on our planet. Did you know that solar flares can also result in some stunning visual displays in our skies? Yes, that's right. Solar flares and their associated coronal mass ejections can trigger what we call geomagnetic storms. These storms are essentially disturbances in the Earth's magnetosphere, caused by a solar wind shock that's been flung out by the sun. But what does this have to do with the beautiful light shows we call auroras or northern lights? Well, these lights are a direct result of these geomagnetic storms. When these solar particles charged with immense energy reach our planet, they interact with the Earth's magnetic field. This interaction excites the atoms in our atmosphere, causing them to light up. The colors you see in these auroras, those are determined by the type of gas particles that are being excited. Oxygen molecules, for instance, give off a greenish glow, while nitrogen molecules can appear blue or purplish red. Geomagnetic storms can sometimes push these auroras away from the poles, allowing people at lower latitudes to witness this spectacle. However, it's important to note that these events are not entirely predictable and depend on the intensity of the solar flare and the orientation of the magnetic field in the solar wind. So while solar flares can cause disruptions, they also bring about one of nature's most breathtaking phenomena, the auroras.